A and B gives us A and B, which I'll put in brackets, and then we have A and C, which is over here, and I'll put that in brackets, and then we all them together, as you can see there. Now if we take this down here, and we have a look closely, we can see there's A in common, so we'll take that outside of the brackets, so we'll place the brackets here, and then we'll look, and we can see we've got B or C. Now we're going to have a look at this column here, which means we're going to be all in together B or C. And if we look at the first entry, we can see that's a zero. If we look at this one, we can see that's a zero. And all of those have at least one one present, so they're all ones. Likewise, those there. Now we'll take a look at A, which is this column, and B or C, which is this column here. And we're going to add them together. So if we take each one in turn, we can see I'm writing down what the inputs give in the last column. Now let's look to the other truth table. Now we can see A and B, and we're going to look at each one in turn, and you can see I'm writing down what the output is for the various inputs A and B, as you can see there. We will now look at the A and C column, and we'll look at each one in turn, and you can see there I've got A all as zero, which means we must have outputs of zero. Likewise, when C is a zero, we'll have outputs. And here we can see we have two ones, which will give us one. And there we can see we have two ones, which will give us one. Now we're going to have a look at these two columns here, the A and the B and the A and the C, and we're going to order them together. So look at the first one, that gives us a zero. And so do all of these here, because they're both zero. And finally, we can see the last three give us a one. Let's now look at this column here and compare it with this column. And straight away, I think it's obvious that we can see that both columns, in terms of the zeros and the ones, are exactly the same. Consequently, we can write out the column headers up here, as you can see. Um, I wrote out the first one, and here's the second column heading. And we can look at this one here, and we can see that that is, in fact, this column heading. I put a line between them to make it obvious. Likewise, this one is the same as this column heading here. And we can see they're the same, proving that this particular law is correct.